For people familiar with my channel and my content, you'll know that I've been looking for a, a monitoring situation solution for my server. I was approached by one of my viewers who wants to stay out of the spotlight, so I'm, I'm not going to say his name. He knows who he is, and he's resolved my issue for me, so thank you for that. It's really appreciated. You, you will... I've been trying to get this to work, even off camera, for ages, and you just come up with a solution that worked first time, and I am so grateful, so thank you. And I'm going to go through that now because it gets Uptime Kuma working for me, and that's really what I wanted, so let's jump into it. So, Uptime and Kuma. Let's have a quick look at it, and uh, and we'll just go through how it works, because essentially what it is, is a monitoring platform that works. So, I... I was directed to a GitHub repository called BSD Apps, and I'll leave the link in the description because it, it just worked straight away. Now, that was on a, a test bed. I'm interested to see if it works first time on my production server. So we're going to install it and go through it and see what happens. So here is the, the GitHub repository. We we'll just follow the instructions that are provided in our terminal our putty terminal sorry guys i use putty what can i say i'm just going to do it and see what happens so what was the first thing to fetch the script right so let's just cd into home because this is where i'm going to have it yeah this is where i'll have it install so let's fetch that script do 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 there we go nice and quick it's just a simple script and we'll ch mod it Nice and easy. Now, I may have to install a package or two, because if I remember rightly, I had to on my test bed, but it may well already be, already be installed. So let's see what happens. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah, I just remembered. Because we need to change a few things, like the mount path. We don't need that. What we want... So what we'll do is we'll create this directory called Uptime Kuma, that one. So let's do that, and we shall ch own it as what? What? Right. Okay. So that's what we'll do. We'll do that, and then we'll run the script. Okay. So let's shut down uptime Kuma a minute, and then start it. Okay. I just want to check my RC dot com to see if it's put in a yes it has excellent I'm gonna move them to my more appropriate location software settings I think that will be the right place there okie doke let's have a quick look in uptime Kuma there's nothing in there that's fine so what we should find now is that it's running so let's do a quick status it's not running it's not starting now why is that I hadn't checked everything out because of uh, permissions. And I've seen this before with Git. Let's let it do its job. I'm just going to moan about packages being old or what have you. Really not worried about that. It should take a minute or two. Okay, let's see if it started this time. It is running. Right, that's better. So, from here, because this is an off-site server, I had to open a, a port in the firewall. So we'll see if that's working. The other thing that I need to quickly do is add a rule in my PF configuration. So let's just go to ETC and make sure it's there. So it's so let's add in the port that it's running on just for now. That's already there. That's interesting. I don't remember setting that up. <laughs> cool. Right. So I should in theory be able to get to it. But do it's running straight away. So let's get this set up and then what we'll do I think is we'll try and set it up so that it's on SSH using Nginx reverse proxying. So we'll give that a go as well. So let's set up a username and password. There it is. I'm pretty chuffed that this is actually just working. So let's add a new monitor. So the first one we'll do is HTTP and uh, actually it will be HTTPS. We'll call it Gary H Tech's web site. 
Ooh, yeah, we'll have that. Is it friendly name? I'll copy that as the description. It's up and running. Look at that, super duper. Like I said, I've been wanting this to to work for a very long time, and the fact that it's just worked, I, you know where you are. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's check out my Nginx configuration. Got a status. No. Okay. Where should we put it? Let's put it here. Ahtech.uk and let's just give it a name in comments. Uh, status Gary H Tech.uk. Let's remove those. And I need to change the SSL certificates as well. It needs to be these ones. So they're the wildcard ones. Okay. Just double check everything else. Du, 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 du. Need to add DNS, don't I? Now it is entirely possible that I already have a status there. So let's add an A name and we'll call it status. So let's get Nginx restarted. That's that restarted. Let's try getting to it, shall we? Wow. It's a working. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. I love it when things just work and this just works. Brilliant. No services. Hmm. Shavity save. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm going to play around with this now that it's running and you saw me add in a service. And I will just quickly show you the the status for that again, uh, configuration for that again. So there it is. It's really, really simple. What I will do is just add in a redirect for the HTTP port. So it is. I hate it when it does that. So what it's doing is it's listening on port 443, uh, SSL and HTTP2. There's the server name. There's the certificates. And then the location settings. And it's literally just proxying. Or a river <laughs> or a reverse proxy so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to set up i've got one here look my redirect and um, we'll just do the same for status put it in here so there we go anything that comes into on port 80 for status.garyhtech.uk gets pushed to https love it and that's exactly what i want bada boom so now if i refresh this this should go doink there we go look at that <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. I think if, in fact, I think I'd go as far as to say I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy. I wonder if there is a way to show just a status page without logging in. Let's check that out on another browser. So I've got Firefox, let's check that. Oh, it does work. Excellent. So there we go. I'm pretty chuffed with that. I'm very chuffed with that. So I'm gonna set up the rest of my services and monitoring because it sends notifications as well and you can have it sent to, to anywhere really. Oh, I'm really happy, really happy with this. So let's have a quick look at settings. Let's have a quick look at some of the settings. Yeah, yeah. Primary base for monitoring a Steam game server. Nope, don't want to do that. Enable DNS cache for HTTPS monitors. No, we don't want to do that. Okay, appearance, always dark. English, show no lion, notifications, yeah, so look at the, the list of services that it can send to. Lots, Google Chat, that'll be handy. Home Assistant, Microsoft Teams, Slack, Telegram if you really wanted it to. There was one for uh, Discord, yeah, there it is. SMS, lots and lots. So, yeah, I'm going to get this set up, chuffed.com. Go and check out this BSD apps in this GitHub repository because there's quite a few things there that might be worth looking at. Home Assistant, Jellyfin if you want to do that, Nextcloud, WordPress, WordPress, whole different kettle of fish at the moment. Not sure I'd go there again, trying to move things away from WordPress. Zoneminder, Zenphoto. Mm. So yeah, go ahead and check this out. Now, this script will work in a jail. That's how it was intended looking at it, but it also works on the host itself which is how I've done it because I don't really use jails on my server. I probably should, but I don't. There you go. He's even got his jail properties there. I mean, 
he's thought of everything. This is a really, really good repository. So there we go. <laughs> Finally got what I wanted. <laughs> Happy. Because I really wasn't looking forward to going down the route of setting up something like Nagios just to see if it was going to work for me. So there we go. Another video done and dusted. Link for this repository will be down in, in the, the description. Please do leave a comment if there was a way that you've done it that is not this way. Are you using a reverse proxy like I am now? Or are you just using it straight up off of its own port? I will close that port on my firewall so that it's not available to the outside world. Please do let me know. I hope you find this useful and, and helpful. It certainly has sorted out a problem that I had. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. There are loads of videos coming up. Wee, look at that graph going all over the place. Yeah, I've got loads of videos coming up. Next week for two weeks is our half-term holiday and my birthday, but we won't talk about that. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care.